What's going down? There's a computer and stuff for things. Wait. What up, though? You know what? I, I didn't want whatever. Dater, lewd. Okay. Okay. I know a girl named Willow. It'd be a shame if something happened to Hillary. Mason, read me. Mace, if you're reading this, you got, you've got you gotten out. I'm not entirely sure what happened that night, but I figured this much out. We were put in stasis, and we've been gone for almost 200 years. I woke up in a pod in North Vegas with a bunch of hooligans pointing pool sticks and knives at me. They took me kind of captive. I was made to do unspeakable things. Rape. Things I don't even want to relive. Even more rape. I don't know how long I traveled with them, but it had to have been over a year. I finally gained enough of their rape. I was able to smash their rape in with a boulder while they slept. I've been using your basement as a hideout for the past few years, but it has always been challenging. When I showed up, someone had taken control of nails and fired artillery at anyone who came near. They almost killed me quite a few times. Sometimes I'd have to wait a few days because it was only under the cover of night. On my hands and knees, I'd be able to sneak in there. Once I was in, though, the lunatic's cannons unknowingly kept me safe from raiders on the outside. We got the local power grid running as well. Since this is base housing, I got access to it, too. I was able to have lights and your computer for some entertainment. Typically, I've been finding enough supplies to last me for a while and returning back here until I need to go out again. Recently, I find it harder and harder to be outside this place, though. The Raiders are getting more violent. I can tell they're high as fuck. They have that dead look in their eyes. Even though it's safe at inside, I have to go out there, and it's clear it's getting more dangerous to do so, despite me carrying around that shotgun your grandma Cindy gave you. Between the near-death experience of trying to access this place and the near-death experience always encountered outside of it, I've decided to head to what, if anything, is left of my aunt's house outside of Prim. Please, join me. If you've come this far, maybe you're willing to come a little further. If I made it out alive, there is hope you did it. T you did too. Remember, Mace, hope is a good thing. Maybe the best things. Maybe the best of things. And no good thing ever dies. I will be hoping that this letter finds you and finds you well. Your friend read May 22nd, 2251. Man, your friend is old now. Your friend is old as balls. What's going down? What up? Nothing. Oh no. Oh, not good. Drug dealer, not welcome. I think your friend was a drug dealer and he died. I think he may have been killed. I'm just saying. Red October is no to Mason. You're scum. Maybe not. Mace, if you're reading this, you're on the right trail. After coming back to Prim, I discovered the Raiders here. We're just as bad as the ones outside of Nellis. Sometimes I got lucky and the law or citizens of Prim would keep the Raiders away. Other times I'd encounter the Brotherhood of Steel. I got along with them fairly well. I came to understand their stance. While I was safe, sometimes they couldn't watch over me constantly. I did the only thing I could do to keep from getting my ass kicked. Again, holding up caravans and selling the supplies. I figured they'd stop beating my ass if I was the guy who had what they needed, right? Eventually, when I got my hands on a decent stockpile of chems, I was really able to avoid to getting attacked. They need to buy from me, and I walk around with immunity. Not long after I showed up here in Prim, though, the NCR showed up in the Mojave. It was bittersweet, to say the least. While they wiped out a lot of the raiders, those raiders have become, had become my customers. I've been able to stay below the radar, though. It's worse for the last 15 years or so, but things are changing. Tensions are increasing. I stick out like a sore thumb here. And it's not long before they come by and wipe me out, too. The folks in Prim know what I'm doing. The Brotherhood knows, too. Both have turned their backs. I'm rapidly losing any source of security I once had. I can feel the community pushing me out. Pushing chems has been the only thing that's moved me forward here, and I will continue to do so. I know South Vegas is full of junkies, but they are supplied by the Great Con. Seems like me enroaching on their territory is a sure way to die. I've decided to push into Boulder City to see if I can keep my business alive. It won't take me long. It won't be long before the NCR takes Boulder City, too. Hopefully, I'll be able to blend in better than here, in better there than here in Prim. Come to Boulder City, I guess. I just missed my friend. 22, 6 to 6. What up? Nothing. Oh, God. Do you have sunglasses? I, 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 I gotta put my sunglasses on. I still got my rebreather on. There we go. Much better. Things look completely different now. I have Project Nevada. That... Or that thing I turned off the sunglasses. Yo, what's up, Captain T-shirt? Hey, Captain T-shirt. Just be cool, man. We're not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. You're not doing anything. Yep. Let's party. It's time to party. Give me all that Z-red. Some of your inner commie on the battlefield. 
Must see to believe. All right, we'll be back. I'll be back. Come back anytime you got the caps. Thank you, cartel dealer. Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Man, it's like Fallout 4 all over again. Well, hello. I don't know who I'm supposed to be talking to. Hello, Deadwood Dan McGurk. What do you need? I don't know. Bye. I don't know who I'm talking to. Don Deegan? Howdy there, fella. Don Deegan, who are you? Name's Don Deegan, partner. Don Deegan. What do you do? Oh, the same as everyone else. I work making the concrete. Occasionally, I help unload the trains. Well, it's a good job, Don Deegan. How long you been here? Oh, I've been here most of my life. My parents come out here in 37. Mm -hmm. Been working for the NCR since they showed up. Mm -hmm. Less dangerous than prospecting. Don Deegan, I love you, Don Deegan. You know Red October? Oh, sure. I know Red. He come out to Boulder City in 65 or 66. Mm. He sort of meandered around as one of us. Helped us sometimes, but he always was a bit of a troublemaker. Everybody knew his real job. It's turtle. He was a turtle. And Sierra never stopped him? Nah. He was usually good at keeping things hidden when he needed. And anybody who got too close usually got a kickback or two. Kick, kickback, karate. You know where he is? Right around 77, things started getting real hot around here. Just take off all your clothes. A lot of people started leaving the city hoping to avoid any spillover from the Battle of the Dam. About that time, a man rolling into town with a few of his boys my boy. said he come up from Mexico. Mexico. Called themselves some kind of cartel. Drug cartel. Anyway, Red didn't have anywhere better to go. Seemed like they were like-minded folks with the chemical selling and what have you. He left with them. Last I heard, they were making a break toward Indian Springs, but if you ain't see the fella outside dressed in orange, it looked like they're back in town. Bye, Don Deegan. Adios, friend. Ask a cartel dealer about Red, and also possibly order some drugs. Hey! Just be cool, man. We're not doing anything. Don't worry, man. You know Red? Nah, I don't know no Red. What about Blue? You know Blue? Don't you work for the cartel? You're asking a lot of questions right now that I don't really feel like answering. Would 100 caps get you talking? It will get me to say something. Look, I've heard of Red. I don't know Red. You have to talk to Esteban or something, and I'll tell you right now. Esteban. Esteban won't talk to you unless you mean business. I mean, I personally... I'll tell you what, though. What? There's a guy calls himself Eisenberg okay. up near Silver Peak Mine. I know he knew Red real well. Talk to him. What up? Just be cool, man. I want more drugs, even though I didn't buy any. Yep, let All right, good. Thank you. The Red Hammer. All right, so... Hillel Eisenberg. Portilla Cartero Socha. How's everyone doing? Okay. Hello, S soldier? Okay, alright. Hey, is that the guy we... I think it is. All right, let's go uh, up here. Whoa, whoa, look at that. It's Christmas, everyone. <laughs> Please touch my chest plate. Touch chest plate. Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> oh God. Please, don't stop. <laughs> you okay? I can't hear you. Can you please take off your shirt? <laughs> Are you coming on to me? No, but did you know there's a hole in between my chassis and wheel? <laughs> Goodbye. Oops. I accidentally dropped something. Can you pick it up for me? Uh. Oops. 
Oops. Oops. Uh, oops. I accidentally dropped something. <laughs> Can you pick it up for me? What is going on right now? Okay. Yo, I'm going to sleep too. It's going to be a sleepover. All right, so it's morning. I don't know what is going on. Something is fighting something. Yo, 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 everyone calm down. Everyone ca calm down. Underpants man. Underpants man. Oh my god. What is it? One mantis? Oh, oh, it's a big corner. God, for can you stop running away from me? Can you stop? Please stop running. Stop running. What? Stop running, fat face. Do you know red? What do you want with red? I don't know. Five gums delicious. We're just old friends. You're bad liars. Beat it. Yeah, well, you have a fat face. What? Fat face. Who are you? You know who I am. Yeah, it says your name over there. Do you know red? What do you want with money? I, I'm, I'm betting on you have like the memory of a goldfish. I doubt Red would borrow money from some cretin like you. Nevertheless, I need something done. You help me, I'll tell you where Red is. My assistant, Terry, is going through an internal conflict. Did he turn into a seagull? I need you to find him, talk to him, let him know that we have work to do, and I can't do this without him. Like I said, get me Terry, you get Red. All right, Terry. All right. Terry, my man. Terry, you're on a children's playground. I'd like to join you. Yeah, drinking some Nuka Cola too. Hey. I like it, Terry. I like it. Who are you? You know what? It doesn't even matter. Okay, sure. By the way, Eisenberg sent us. He wants to know he needs you and he can't complete his work alone. I don't care about his work. I'm not going back. Okay. Are you okay? So you'd rather hang out in a, on an empty playground than be with all your buddies? You deaf bitch. You're not going to convince me. I just said I wasn't going. i give you... What's it going to take to make you go back? That's just it. I don't want anything. Nothing, Terry? This hex? <laughs> okay, we'll murder Eisenberg. What? Se uh, sex? Rolls eyes. Alright, we'll murder Eisenberg. No, no, I don't want that at all. What's it with you fucking idiots anyways? Jesus Christ, everyone's a dickhole to me. We need Eisenberg's help, and he said if you cooperate, then... Let me just go ahead and stop you right there. You don't understand the scope of all this. A couple years ago, I was a happy chemist. Eisenberg and me and the cartel happily cooking all of our chems up in Indian Springs, making a fortune pushing them into New Reno. And now that we've come to the Mojave, it's real tense with the cartel. In gunfights with the NCR, the Legion, the Fiends, and the Great Cons. Just last week, someone guessing the Great Cons sent a sniper after one of our members. I'm done. That's it. This is a war I want no part of. Breaking bad. So no, I'm not going back. I'm not willing to die over this. Tell me more about the cartel. For Eisenberg and I, it all started five years ago. Before the cartel, we were a couple of happy chemists crawled out of a vault in New Mexico. It wasn't long until we had to start avoiding the Legion. They hang guys like us. So we left, headed towards Nevada. Met the cartel during our travels. They were much smaller then. It was just Esteban and his brother Ramon, Courtney, Black T, L. Surgeon, and a few other guys. L. Surgeon. The great cons ran the chem game then. They hadn't been massacred at Bitter Springs yet. We knew we were outgunned in the Mojave. So all of us headed to the Northwest. A place called Indian Springs. No NCR, no Legion, and no great cons. Free to make all the chems we wanted. We made a mountain of caps, controlling the chem trade in northern Nevada and California. We were able to hire every merc who walked the trail. They call it expansion, I call it suicide. Things were fun in Indian Springs. Sure, we're making more caps now, but it's not worth my life. Well, do you happen to know where Red October is? Well, like I said a couple weeks ago, a sniper took shots at one of our members. That member happened to be Red, so why do you want to know? What does it matter? You left the cartel. We're not great cons. We are not here to hurt him. For the most part, I believe you, and even if I didn't, I'm not in the cartel anymore. So Red's got an apartment block by the Thorn near Westside. Bye. See ya. Wait, so... Hmm. Alright, I just want to check, because there was the armor there. 
I'm gonna see if you can jump in that. What up? I'm intrigued. I'm gonna jump in some armor. I'm intrigued. I'm gonna jump in your face. So, I don't know what... I, I have some type of texture mesh. No, I have some type of texture that makes everyone glow. I don't know what it is, but that is all on my part. Because every mod we review that has power armor, all of my power armor always glows. And I don't... It's gotta be some texture file. Ooh, someone's taking a nap. Look at you. You look comfortable, don't you, little baby? Oh yeah. Am I gonna get yelled at for this? Giant power armor. It appears to be charging. Oh. Oh, damn. Okay. Let's head on down to Thorn Town. What's up, homeless man? Halt! This area is off limits. You need to leave now. I thought you'd be a lot older. We travel very far. I have, I have with me an old friend of your father's. <gasps> oh, you're junior. Oh. If he doesn't know you're coming, you're not coming in. Yo, calm down. All right, please just step aside with me. No harm to your father. This is a special occasion. This man's been fro frozen for over 200 years. Him and your father are old friends. Frozen together. Look, kid, work with me here. You're being difficult. Move or I'll tell the cons you're here. Move out of the way before me or my friend punch you in the face and knock you the fuck out. Frozen. My daddy told me specially not to let any of his old friends in. What about his old, old friends? No farm. I said no. All right, we're going to kick you in the dick. Ha, <laughs> there's a first for everything. I'd like to see it. God damn it, Red Ak Akbar Jr. Man, you're fucking you giant. Halt! This area is... Yeah, we know. If he doesn't know you're coming, you're not coming in. Look, man. I'm going to tell the cons are here. You wouldn't. Beside, we'll be gone before you leave this neighborhood then. I'm just going to walk in then. <laughs> Who the hell is Bill? Bill? I... I never thought... I never thought I'd see you again. Wow! Wait. Oh, shit. We fucked this up somehow. What do you need? Okay. Your friend really was disappointed about seeing you, Bill. <laughs> okay. Yep, that's what we were supposed to do. Okay. Maybe if you hadn't taken your sweet fucking time, Bellevue. Boom! 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 What up? Nothing. Man, you knocked the shit out of your friend's son. Wake up, you little... Wake up, you little bitch. Halt! This area is... Okay, we just knocked you out. If he doesn't... My daddy... You would. Ha! All right. Third time's a charm. You know what? Let's just go in. Screw his stupid son. Who the hell is Bill? Bill? I. I never thought. I never thought I'd see you again. Wow! What the? <laughs> what? What? There was a lot that wasn't said about the last night I remember. And it all started here. The Lucky 38 Casino. December 21st, 2051. After spending a few hours in the casino downstairs winning a lot of money, House's friend invited Red upstairs for a private game. Me and Mace, the guy in the white shirt there, just came along for the company and the liquor. Fuck it, why not? Now what Red had failed to mention about this invitation, as it came at the end of hours of cheating downstairs, and up here too. 
Notice the half a royal flush that falls out of his pants in a moment. Oh, Red, you underhanded fucking snake. Never even gave us a warning. The pit boss son said, What the fuck was that? What did you just drop? And then he has the audacity to say, I don't know what you're talking about. Of course, at that point, House's buddy yells out, You see, Robert, I told you he was a cheat. Dater lewd. Well, I'm not sure I could ever quite forget what was said next. He looked at him and said, I didn't get cheated, but if it bothers you, I suggest you do something about it. That's pretty awesome, except for... I think he said, You should be pissed too, Robert. That's your casino down there. And, fuck it, if it's my choice, let him sleep with the fishes. Oh. Huh. So I do like the, the angle switching. That's pretty sweet. Obviously, because I have my goofy-ass companions. Kind of messes it up. That was a pretty nice flashback. That was awesome. I'm sorry to lead you on a fetch quest, Courier, but Red had this coming for a long time. He had to have known that. Ever since you found me, I've been so full of anger. Anger that I'm here. Anger that this is caused by something he did. Anger I have no one. You got Hillary. I apologize if I misled you. It had to be done, though. I'm sure now you can figure out who's next on my vendetta chart. I bet it's Hillary. House's friend? The guards that beat you up and put you in stasis? House? House's friend? If he's alive, yes, he would be, but I can't imagine he's around these days. The guards? I doubt they made it to the 23rd century. House. Bingo. I figured out from the people at the old Mormon fort that's not Robert House's relative holdup in the Lucky 38. That's him. He's gonna see the side of a bullet. I know you're acquainted with him, Courier. I'll give you some time to mull it over. I got a house outside of Freeside with Hillary, that girl from the old Mormon fort. Gross. When you're ready, come find me there. Yeah, I'll be sure to knock. Ooh, a locked bathroom. I don't know why I'm so excited about this. Put your jet in the toilet, jet in the toilet, put your jet in the toilet, boop, boop, boop. Hey, that kid die. All right. You said you had a place in Freeside? All right, everyone, so we found Bellevue Bill's house. It is uh, south of Medical Clinic and north of Dribble Dunn, South Carolina. So we're going to go in there. It is 9.30 at night. I'm sure they won't mind. It's not dinner. I'm just kicking the front door. Wow, you guys, this is a fancy. Jesus, where'd you guys get this floor? Someone killed Benny, the chairman's big shot in his own casino. Okay, thanks, Hillary. Violence begets violence. Thank, thanks, Hillary. Jesus. What up, though? Yeah, you sh you sure picked a shitty neighborhood to live in. Thought about what you said about killing house. Where'd you get all the stuff for this house? Actually, a lot of it was here when we pried the doors open. The rest, I uh, kind of took advantage of your lucky thirty-eight access. Borrowed some things. Yeah, Douchebag. All right, I'm just gonna say it right now. I thought, uh, pretty shitty place. It's not too bad. I had to be close to the followers for Hillary. I don't like her walking far. There's a few raiders around here once in a while. All right, all right. But I hooked Hillary up with some better weaponry, and I can take care of myself. Besides that, I got a lot of good neighbors and stuff. Yeah, those rats outside. New Vegas Medical Clinic, which is guarded. Crimson Caravan, which is guarded. NCR Sharecropper Farms, all of it's around here, all protected. My neighbor works for gun runners, plus the building is around here. Guy across the field was a soldier. We're all safe. Nothing will happen. That's what everyone always says. Let's go, house. And? Yeah. We won't be killing house. Not for you. Not right now. Wait, so is that just going to stop the thing? 
The fuck do you mean? I told you what this guy did to me. I thought we were friends, Courier. Friends let friends murder mutual friends. 